Whoa. It tastes like a splintery ladder. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, bringing your real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. And welcome to the first sip. This sample right here was drawn at random from our first sip sample pool. Not only are we tasting this double blind, but whatever is in this glass is something that we are trying for the first time. Let's not delay. Let's get right into it on the nose. So I'm getting some just classic bourbon yeah. on the nose. I'm getting really classic bourbon as well, except I'm getting a little bit of fruitiness mixed in there, kind of like a red fruit kind of a berry sweetness. And then the oak that's on it smells old to me. Like it's kind of got like this nice sweet, you smell but funky. <laughs> well, I kind of am old, <laughs> but it's kind of got this nice sweet funkiness to it. Okay, you're getting way more than I am at the moment. I gotta taste it before I get more. Let's get into the palate. All right. Whoa, it tastes like a splintery ladder. Like I just imagine somebody walking up a ladder and getting splinters from like old wood. I think maybe it's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Wow. That's a fast. Like that's the that's the picture that went yeah. into my brain when I drank this. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of everything I got on the nose is here on the palate. The classic bourbon backbone. The addition of that berry sweetness that's in there. It's pretty strong. Really concentrated. It doesn't taste high proof though. Like the flavor seems concentrated. Yeah, concentrated. But it it's not coming through really proofy. The finish is lingering. It's still sticking around. I don't know. I might disagree oily. with you on the not proofy. It might, really? I think it might be higher proof than you're thinking. Okay. Let's get into another sip and find out. All right. The second sip is a little more, a little more oaky, if that is even yeah. a thing. Well, as so often happens on the second sip, you've gotten acclimated to it. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm getting is a really difficult time to talk is what I'm getting <laughs> because it's really oily. It's really dense. It's really concentrated in flavor. Yeah. Everything is still there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, what was I going to say? Oh, it's in more balance. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. It's in more balance, but the oak is definitely the star of the it's show here. It's definitely here. Want to do one more? Wow. One yeah. more sip. Are you ready to do some ratings after that? Yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. So to me, this drinks like in the one teens. I'm yeah. See? At least, if not more, but I'd say one teens. To me, it's weird. It's like... It's drinking concentrated like a, a pour in the one teens proof wise, but the, 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 I don't know. The proof doesn't seem that high to me. Like it seems to me like it's down around a hundred or maybe even under a hundred. I think you're desensitized to proof. I mean, this is something that is an ongoing thing, right? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I need one more sip before we get some scores here. Yeah. I mean, it is such a concentrated flavor, but it's so much. Oily. I think it's in the one teens. Dark. Dark right. fruit. Very good. Okay. Where are you at? Nose flavor experience. Wait. Hey, sometimes tech stuff happens. So we've got a new microphone in the new studio and we forgot to charge it. We thought it had enough battery to last. It did not. It did not. So we have gone through the whole video. We didn't <laughs> find out until after the video was done that we only had a little bit of audio, but the audio that we did have and some of Aaron's tasting notes, as you've already seen, <laughs> were too good to not put this video out. So we will show you as we go through this, some of the reactions when we found out what this product was, but we have our scores on paper right here in front of yes. us and we are going to honor those. So we're going to pop those up right now and talk about them. Okay. You like this. All right. I did. Like, you liked it. I liked it. Thumbs up across the board. Yeah. Nose flavor experience. It was good. For me, it got two thumbs up on the nose, thumbs up on the flavor and two thumbs up on the experience. Which was I, high praise. Yes. I love the nose. I love the experience of this thing. Yeah. It was so dense. I thought it was lower proof and just really well-rounded and everything. And you thought it was higher proof. I did. I thought it was at least in the one teens, yeah. if not higher. Yeah. And I was thinking like around a hundred and just a real powerhouse of a hundred proof pour. But those were our tasting scores. And when we got into the reveal, we saw that it was sample number 85 in our key. And our reactions when we found out what it was, was too good not to show you. And this is a sample from Barry Hawk, yes. none other than the illustrious Barry Hawk. Yes, thank you, Barry. And this is Larceny Barrel Proof B521, which is not a product we've ever had before. That's why it's in our first sip key. And it's also 
121 proof. It's up there in proof. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was right, and I was really excited about it. If you haven't seen it in the clip Josh showed, yeah. you'll see it soon. Oh, you're gonna you're <laughs> gonna see that for sure. So this is a really fascinating first sip mm -hmm. because. We have only ever tried Larceny Barrel Proof C920. Yes. And didn't particularly care for that. We have a bottle and we still have some of it left. Like we've not, are not making our way through that very fast. No. But this one was really a change of pace for what I'm used to experiencing with Larceny Barrel Proof. Really, really good pour. Let's talk about it though. We got to get into our real world metrics here. Okay. So based on the price and the availability, what's your retail score okay. for Larceny Barrel Proof? Checks notes. Checks My notes from three hours ago. Retail score was just okay. Yeah. Um, the price tag, it was like $50, but then you said in our market, it can go up to $80 yeah. and it's not very available. So it got just okay yeah. for, for me. I'm the same way, just okay. At 50 bucks, it's great but it is a limited edition item or a, a three times a year release mm -hmm. item and that kind of hampers it a little bit yeah and again in our market gets marked up now you walk into a store you see this for 50 or 60 bucks are you a buy what's your consumer score i gave it a thumbs up and i said that because the limited availability on this product kind of pushed me to the thumbs up because while i'm not going to go hunt this product if i'm in a store and it's there for retail for 50 bucks I'm, I'm probably gonna get it because I know I won't be able to find it again. So thumbs up. Yeah, I'm a thumbs up, or no wait, your real world score. What's your real world score? Oh, it's a 4.5 out okay. of 10. Well, I already spoiled it. I gave it a thumbs up as well yeah. on consumer <laughs> score. I would absolutely buy one of these. I mean, if I run across a Larceny Barrel Proof for 50 bucks, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. But this particular batch on the nose and the experience really come up a notch for me. And yeah. so that puts it at a 6.5, which is even tipping outside of that middle four to six point range representing yeah. good value. Like I think this is a, a great value batch of Larceny Barrel Proof. And I don't know what new batches are like past B521, but this batch has got my attention. And I went from probably not looking for any batches after having C920 yeah. to now having had B521 and Larceny Barrel Proof is back on my radar because this thing was so good. The only thing that was just a little off for me was the flavor profile and I liked it, but it was leaning a little bit more of those like dark stewed fruits. And I just prefer a little bit more like dark and syrupy chocolatey, and chocolatey candy type of bar. flavors. Yeah. 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 A little less fruity, but man, this was an absolutely great batch. Yeah. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully we salvaged it the best we could. Yeah. But you, Aaron can't be dropping things like a splintered ladder. <laughs> and not have that show up. We I couldn't mean, just scrap the whole video. We could have, but you would have missed that little nugget. Yeah. If you like this video, if you like this train wreck, go ahead and <laughs> give it a like. Give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe <laughs> if you like the style of content. We bring it to you every week on here and make sure to tickle our bell down there <laughs> if you want to be notified of our once a month live streams that we do. <laughs> yes. And with that, be good to each other. Until next week, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Did you burp? Yeah. I smell it. That's... Thanks. It smells like a garbage truck. Why does your burp smell like a garbage truck? What's inside you? Death. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> this sample right here was drawn at random from our first sip sample pool. Not only are we trying whatever in this glass. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, be good to each other. <laughs> we can keep that in there, even though it's lame. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. We say, did we save it? I think so. I hope so. I hope so. If not, oh well.